Hi guys, this is Cyril Gupta from Technic Force, and today I'm going to show you a quick demo of Tweet Push. This is a powerful Twitter marketing front end which will help you gain more success on Twitter even if you are a local marketer. So let's get started and see what Tweet Push can do. When you load up Tweet Push, you will see the dashboard, and this is where you can actually do all of the things that Tweet Push lets you do. But before you get started, the first thing you need to do, of course, is add your Twitter profile to Tweet Push. To do that, you can go into accounts. And I've got one Twitter profile already over here. You can add multiple ones according to the Tweet Push variant you have. You can add more or less. But to add one, just click on Add Account. And you'll be taken direct to Twitter. They will ask you to authorize the app. And once you authorize it, your ID will be added and you'll be able to work with it. To change what ID is set to current, you can see all your IDs which you've added right over here. So you, if you add three, you will see three options and whichever one you click on, it will be set as correct as the current ID and whatever work you do on Tweet Push will be done with that ID. So you can see these buttons here, all the powerful things that this software can do. And I'm going to explain each feature briefly, but with this software, you have everything you need to be a really powerful Twitter marketer and get growth and traffic from Twitter, mostly on autopilot. So let's get started. First, there is the my tweet section, and this is where you can see all the tweets that you have made using this account. And if you need more, if you can always click on load more and see more tweets. And what you can do here is retweet. So if you got older tweets that you want to reuse, you can just quickly scroll, find your tweet that you want to reuse and click on retweet to make that tweet again. You can also like the tweet or if you want, you can reply to the tweet that you've made. The second feature in tweet section is search tweets. So what you can do is you can search for the tweet based on the location. So just put in any location you want. Maybe you want to find tweets which are being made in Amsterdam and you can put in any keyword you want to. So I'm looking for tweets about dogs in Amsterdam and I can see all these tweets here you want. You can like them, you can retweet them or if you want you can even schedule them for posting later now this is very powerful because what you can do is you can schedule a lot of tweets quickly and what will happen is these tweets will be retweeted at the time when you schedule so that you will be able to build a buzz for yourself in the said region you can check back frequently find new tweets and again like them or retweet them as you want so here we have a bunch of neat tweets. If I want to maybe like this one or retweet it, I can do so right from within this interface. Then we have my connections. In this, you can see the list of people you follow and also the people who are following you. So you've got all these people who are who you are following and if you want to unfollow anybody, just check box and click on unfollow. They will be unfollowed instantly. Then you can also see these checkboxes if you check them. Then you can scroll up and click on direct message and send a direct message, personal message to all these people. So you can just send a message. So here you can type a message. For example, this one, I've typed out this one. Hi, take a look at our new product that we launched today and click on send and the message will be sent to all these people. And when you click on the follower section, you will see the people who are following you and people you are also following back. You can see those two. You can see the unfollow button over here. If, you, if you're, you're following this person back, if you want to unfollow, click on unfollow. And these people you're not following yet. If you want to follow, click on follow and you will be following them instantly. So whatever followers you have will show up here and you can choose to unfollow them or follow them as the case may be. In the next section, you can see the engagement that your account is generating. So when you click on mentions, you will see all the places where you've been mentioned and you can either retweet them or you can like them or you can reply to the tweet and engage the person further. So this is a great way to identify where you're getting mentioned, who is engaging with you and engage them back 
or to so show them some appreciation then you got favorites and you will see all the tweets that you favorited and if you want you can retweet them or you can unfavorite them after a while maybe you have favorited too many and you want to un unfavorite some of them you can do that from over here and then we got trends and this is where you will find trending tweets based on location so again continuing our our early example put in the keyword that you want to find the trending tweets for for a region and the region we use google so you can just click on the region and then click on search you'll get the trending tweets for that topic right over here and there's also hashtags and this actually widens the scope quite a bit put in any region you want and click on search it's going to give you the topics that are trending right now in that region and you can make your tweets on that topic to get a lot of traction and grow your Twitter channel very very quickly and then you've got the campaign section that's where you create a campaign and you can actually connect your account give it a name like test campaign and you can give it a start date when you want it to start and how long do you want it to last just give it that detail and how many hours do you want it to post with an interval of so every three hours you can put in the keywords and hashtags that you're targeting so those keywords and hashtags will be used inside your your tweets so maybe just put in a keyword that you want and then you can put in all the RSS feeds that you want to connect it so your campaign actually gives you two options RSS feed and YouTube URL so you can put in an RSS feed that you want to connect the campaign so that can come from your blog or if you got a YouTube channel just put in the YouTube URL and that's enough click on create campaign and the campaign will be created you can see the campaigns that you've created by clicking on my campaigns here are all the campaigns that we have here we got four and any any new entries which are made on the blog or on the YouTube channel they will be auto posted to your Twitter and then you've got auto reply so you can select the account you want to send the reply for and you can also put in keywords that you want to monitor maybe you want to monitor the dog keyword or dog hashtag whatever you want this comma separate them put in the start time and the end time put in the interval in between you know the, the two replies that you send out and if you got an image that you want to include in your reply you can do so click on upload image choose the image but you can just type in the text and the person who's made the tweet will get a reply from you and just click on save and the auto reply function will be set anybody who makes a tweet based on these keywords or this hashtag they will get a tweet from you and this engagement will lead them probably to following you and also retweeting you you can add multiple replies so if you want you can add multiple replies here click on add reply and you can add multiple replies once you're ready click on save all the replies will be saved and when the actual reply is posted it will be selected randomly from this list then you've got the schedule tweets area and all the tweets that you've scheduled for posting in the future will be showing up here right now we don't have any tweet schedule so you can't see anything here but when you do schedule some tweets you'll see them over here and accounts again is the place where you can add all the Twitter accounts you want so that you can work with them by changing them toggling from them from here and the logs will have the details of whatever action tweet push takes and successful actions will be shown with a green checkbox and something if, didn't, if it didn't succeed you will see the red cross and you will need to you will also see what error was there and You'll be able to see what error was there and you can make changes if they're required you can see the action type from here is it a like is it a follow whatever the action type is you can see from here and in the settings menu you can actually change your email or your password maintain your account so guys this is tweet push with features that allow you to auto reply to put up campaigns to schedule tweets to monitor trends and to capitalize on the trends to engage with people who are the influencers or the audience in your niche and to create new connections to promote people to follow you and by being able to follow people on the auto and also to schedule tweets 
on whatever trending topic or whatever topic you want you can get a lot of visitors from Twitter and unlock a totally new source of traffic for yourself which is very very professional because Twitter has the best number of buyer traffic you know it's got the higher percentage of buyer traffic well paying customers customers who have real money so it's got a very very good audience that you can capitalize on and of course the included training will show you exactly what to do to do this correctly i hope this demo showed you how to use tweet push to get more success in your internet marketing this is Cyril Gupta signing off.